Back here in Wisconsin, people with ties to Israel and Gaza are filled with emotion as these events unfold. Kaylee Starrell spoke with local groups on their reaction and joins us from the newsroom. There are more than 6,000 miles between Israel and Gaza and Milwaukee. Still, there's a heaviness today over our city, especially for those with close ties to the region. The echoes of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict heard around the world, including right here in Milwaukee. I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and had messages from my family in Israel. Miriam Rosenzweig's sister is in Israel. As rockets fired, she had to pull over in her car with her baby and get out and try to find shelter. While her family is okay, she says her Jewish families in Israel and Milwaukee are hurting. And when we watch this, it 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 is painful even if they're not related to us. And watching with incredible sadness for the lives lost, for the fear, um, every hour more stories are coming out, more videos coming out. Miriam is the president of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation. With over 25,000 Jewish people in the Milwaukee area, she says calls have been coming in all day. I've had several people call me up and, and, and they're crying. They haven't there's PTSD from 50 years ago. The conflict is hitting close to home for another community in Milwaukee, too. So Milwaukee actually has a very, very big Palestinian community. Jamila Arabia is the president of Students for Justice in Palestine at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. There are hundreds in the group, many with relatives in Gaza. And I personally know people off the top of my head who were just there, who are still there, who are being affected. After decades of violence, she says the conflict came as no surprise. This isn't something that happened overnight. This is a decades long violence and occupation. Um, and when people are under occupation and under uh, pressure and just violent scrutiny, people are going to retaliate. As the death toll rises in Israel and Gaza, both groups here in Milwaukee want peace. We obviously hope for the best. Like violence, we don't like, we don't like, I don't personally like the violence coming in. And we believe that only if we see each other and that we experience each other's pain and we see the humanity in each other um, in Israel, in Milwaukee, in every country around the world, that's how we're going to solve these issues. Both organizations tell me they're planning different events and fundraisers as the conflict intensifies. In the newsroom, Kaylee Starrell, TMJ4 News.